Welcome to the Beyond Limitation channel. Today, we explore the rich history of black people, one of the largest ethnic groups in the world, as documented in the Holy Scriptures. Surprisingly, the Bible mentions the origins of African people, including their esteemed kings and queens. In this video, you will discover intriguing facts about the biblical ancestors of black and African peoples. We appreciate your support, so please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. According to the Holy Scriptures, all current peoples are descendants of Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This includes black people and other ethnic groups with dark skin, whose lineage can be traced back to Ham, one of Noah's sons. Ham is the brother of Shem and Japheth, representing the Semitic peoples, Arabs, Jews, Syrians, etc., and the Japhetic peoples, Europeans and Asians, respectively. The term Hamites originally referred to people descended from Ham or Canaan, another of Noah's sons, as mentioned in the Bible. In the book of Genesis, after the great flood, Noah and his three sons were tasked with continuing the lineage of humanity. With only eight individuals, Noah, his wife, their three sons, and their daughters-in-law, humanity needed to start afresh. Ham, the son of Noah, is recognized as the ancestor of African and black peoples in the Bible. His name is consistently associated with Africa, and the book of Psalms even identifies him as the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians. Rabbinical traditions, ancient Jewish tales, and other ancient traditions have also consistently identified Ham as the ancestor of African peoples. Moreover, when examining the lineage of Ham's children as described in Genesis chapter 10, we find that they all point to African countries and regions. Cush, one of Ham's descendants, is the father of several African peoples, while Mizraim is the father of the ancient Egyptians. It is worth noting that in antiquity, the Jewish people and other ancient traditions always attributed the ancestry of African peoples to Ham. The name Ham itself, in Hebrew, Aramaic, and other ancient languages, means burned or dark, referring to the skin tone of his descendants. The text in Genesis provides more information about Ham's lineage, including his descendants Cush, the father of several African peoples, and Mizraim, the father of the ancient Egyptians. Other sons of Ham are Put, also known as Phut, and Canaan, who was the father of the Canaanites, not Africans. The sons of Cush include Havila, Saba, Rama, Sheba, and Nimrod. Nimrod, an ancestor of the native peoples of ancient Babylon, the Sumerians, moved on to establish cities in Assyria. Mizraim, the son of Ham, is considered the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians and many North African peoples, including the Berbers and the dark-skinned Tuaregs. Interestingly, the term Mizrahi is used by Semitic peoples such as Arameans, Arabs, and Israelites to refer to Egypt. In chapter 10 of Genesis, between verses 6 and 14, we find further details about the lineage of Ham, also known as the Hamite peoples. The text presents the descendants of Ham, including Cush, the father of several African peoples, and Mizraim, the father of the ancient Egyptians. It is important to mention that the name Cush is often associated with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Africa in the Bible, with its literal meaning being Ethiopia or Black. Cush was also the father of Canaan and Mizraim. Mizraim is considered the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians and many North African peoples, including the Berbers and the dark-skinned Tuaregs. It is fascinating to note that all Semitic peoples, such as the Arameans, Arabs, and Israelites, refer to Egypt as Mizrahi. This designation is used in several ancient languages like Aramaic, Arabic, and Hebrew. The text in Genesis mentions that Noah, after getting drunk, cursed one of Ham's sons, specifically Canaan. It is crucial to clarify that this curse was directed at Canaan, the ancestor of the Canaanite peoples inhabiting the Middle East, and not African peoples. The misinterpretation of this curse as a condemnation of African peoples is a serious error and a false interpretation of the biblical text. Ham, the ancestor of African and South Indian peoples, lived a remarkably long life. 
As he was born before the flood, he witnessed several generations of his family and ancestry. Although the exact age is not specified in the biblical texts, it is presumed that he lived for around 600 years, similar to his brother Shem. While the exact location of Ham's tomb is uncertain, some theories suggest it may be in the Ethiopian region or even in Nubia. Others propose Mesopotamia, the land of the Sumerians, as his burial site. Many agree that Ham's tomb is located in Africa, specifically Sudan or Ethiopia. Some even speculate that he could be buried in Egypt, a land known for its ancient mysteries and continuous discoveries of ancient burials. The Book of Jubilees offers additional insights into Ham's old age and events involving Noah's family and the three lineages of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. According to this ancient Jewish manuscript, which was believed to be true during the time of Christ and earlier, Ham strongly disapproved of his youngest son Canaan's decision to settle in the land of Shem, which is now known as Israel. Cush and Mizraim, the brothers of Canaan, along with their father Ham, also disagreed with Canaan's choice. They urged him to leave the land, believing that African lands were reserved for the descendants of Ham. However, Canaan disregarded his father and brother's wishes and continued to dwell in the land of Shem. In the Book of Jubilees, it is mentioned that Ham was the founder of the first city and province after the flood, naming the city after his beloved wife, Malathamlok. Thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share the video with others, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support. See you soon.